Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so today I've been talking with Levi and uh, we realized our search for demon altars in the previous world has not gone very well, as you can tell. Um, there just aren't many left. I think this is probably just simply because we've already farmed them all. So, what Levi and I decided to do is actually Levi's idea. We're going to go ahead and jump into the world adventure. It's one of the other worlds that he's created. And we're going to go see if we can find some demon altars in this world. Because I don't think we've actually farmed too many here. Well, at least according to Levi, um, he thought there were plenty left. So, anyway, because we definitely, if you recall, we need demon altars. Uh, the other thing I need to find out, though, is, is this world actually in hard mode? That is one question. Okay. So this is just going to be a short 10 minute video because um, I'm just going to check this out um, and see really quickly. You should be able to find out pretty fast if this is actually a, uh, uh, yeah, let me see here. Anybody, do you have a mining helmet by any chance? Of course you don't. Okay, well, oh, oh, perfect. You do have a magma stone, which is great because it lights things up. You guys didn't know that. If you, if you want nice, easy, accessible light, get a magma stone. Or if you got frost armor, that's pretty cool too. You get this cool weapon effect where it illuminates even your pickaxe, which is fantastic when you're mining and you need a little light. Okay, Levi, I'm really not sure, buddy, if we are actually in hard mode on this level. If not, well, there's definitely some lead ore. Let's just see. We'll know real quickly if we dig down into the depths and we start seeing the elementals. But right off the bat, I didn't see any. Let's see, what, what is that? Is that some crimson? Crimtane ore? Yeah, it's crimtane. <clears throat> that is not evidence. What is that? That is, Levi, our bags are so full. There are lots of tungsten. Let's see. Silver, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and dig down deeper here. That's all lead, yeah, that's not what we're looking for. So if you recall, we're looking for tungsten, or excuse me, we're looking for uh, demon altars so that we can um, farm them, obviously. But the purpose of farming a demon altar is to ultimately get a... Ow, that was a boulder on my head. It's a very, very nice boulder. It just feels very nice when it's right on the top of your head. Okay, so the demon altar is... The purpose is, is to get titanium. That's what I'm trying to get to. Titanium. Topaz. Yeah, that's nice. It's not what we're looking for, though. Topaz. So, yeah, the purpose for the titanium is a, does anybody remember? Titanium War Axe, yes. Of course, the Titanium War Axe, uh, skeleton, no, skeletons, our skeletons aren't hard mode. It's not looking so good so far. Will, what's he have to see here? Would you have to come on down here and see what we can find? Here's a wall creeper. Now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out here. Um, yeah, these are not hard mode ores. I am not an expert at Terraria. Now, Levi, Levi is pretty expert. That's copper. But even my non-expert opinion, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't think we're in hard mode here. It's not looking good then. Which is fine. It's perfectly fine. We'll just have to uh, go down into the depths of Hades or purgatory. In case your parents don't like the word, the H-E double hockey stick word, we'll go ahead and go with Hades. The underworld, there we go. How's that? You need to go to the underworld. For anybody that has not seen the underworld, it is a fiery pit of death. Within the fiery pit of death, we will challenge the monster, the monstrosity known as 
The war of flesh. The war of flesh. One man. One wall of flesh. One mission. Ooh, black slime. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Amethyst. Give me some silver ore. Very, very nice. Yes, yes. Very good. Okay, we're gonna be almost there. Yeah, I'm about 100% sure now. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Levi's gonna love that. Even though it's not like an epic weapon at this point, he loves the boomerangs, and that's really actually quite cool. The superior enchanted boomerang. 16 melee damage, 16% critical strike chance, very fast speed, insane knockback. Ooh, I'd like to see what insane knockback looks like. Eight, oh, excuse me. Bonuses include plus 8% damage, plus 3% critical strike chance, and a 10% knockback. That's insane knockback, apparently. So apparently, anything at or around 10% knockback is knockback is classified as insane knockback. For those of you who do not know, Knockback is the weapon effect that occurs when said weapon comes in contact with an enemy or strikes an enemy. It causes the enemy to actually surge backwards. Um, it's rather useful if it's a very powerful enemy um, to keep distance between yourself and the enemy. It's sometimes rather important, especially with really fast mobs. Blink root. We're gonna drop it. Sorry, guys. Uh, we don't need uh, these extra things. And if that is that copper, I really love copper dearly, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sorry. Yeah, that's throwing it away. What else do we got? Pixie dust. Holy cow. You know, I will actually grab the copper because that just feels really wasteful. We'll throw it away. Crimstone block. We'll toss that. Let's see. Grenades. Those are neat. Not gonna use them ever again. Sorry, we can craft tons of rope if we need it. And a tree statue, we've already got 10. There's some more crimstone blocks. We're dropping those too. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and we need to come up. Where in the heck? Man. Did I get. Oh. Oh, guys. Hopefully, I got that chest. I can't even remember now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Levi loves that about me. As intelligent as I may appear, not really, but I can't even remember if I picked up the treasure or not. Hmm. Some would say that's rather ludicrous, insane. One would say, some would say, that man has lost his tally wax. Whatever that, whatever that means. He lost his tally wonkers. He lost his tiddly doodles. Equivalent to marbles. Okay, here's a question. I challenge somebody to go out and find out what is the origin of the saying, I think he lost his marbles. Where does that come from? What does it mean? And why does it mean? Well, I already tell you what it means. Obviously, it means, if you don't know, it means he's crazy. That man is crazy. Okay, but another way to say it is he's lost his marbles. The question is, what's the origin of this saying? Where did it come from? If you guys want to go find out, put it in the comments. That's fun. That's a fun little, little uh, deal we can do on the side. Is a little trivia. So I am 100% a fan of promoting ongoing continued learning. Just because you see something, just because you hear something, doesn't mean it's true. Always go find out. And always be curious to ask the question why. Learning is fun. I am learning still every single day. I look up dictionary words every single day. Well, not every single day, but literally all the time. Dictionary.com is a fantastic resource. I'm signed up for word of the day. What was today's? Today's was uh, mythopoeic. Mythopoeic. M y t h o p e o i c. Of or relating to a myth. Very interesting. 
<laughs> it means it means nothing. Very, very interesting. Okay, I am totally distracted right now. I don't even know where I'm going. But I actually did see bright shiny. Bright shinies! I do love some rubies, even if I am mythopoeic. Right then, what else we go over here? Ah, some silver. Let's go ahead and create a steaming river of lava. Run away, run away! Oh gosh, ah, 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 oh gosh. Okay, no, that's my timer telling me that, that we are done with this episode. So, we will come back soon, very soon, very soon, and we will jump in actually going to probably have to regroup with Levi and find out if we want to go ahead and make this level hard mode um, or simply utilize another hard mode level. But the nice part about making this level hard mode and going that route is that we know for a fact that uh, the demon altars have not been farmed. Oh, and look, we, we did make it to the underworld. That is cool. Okay, so we've, we've effectively entered purgatory, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save here, and we will see you guys shortly. Peace and love.